we present egocentric scene aware human trajectory prediction. In this video, we'll dive into the motivation, approach, results, and impacts of this project. Our work aims to push the boundaries of predicting human motion from an egocentric perspective with the goal of enabling safer and more effective human robot interaction. So let's get started. Imagine a future where robots and assistive devices seamlessly integrate into human lives. Be it an exoskeleton helping a worker lift heavy objects or a smart wearable guiding a disabled person through a cluttered environment. For these systems to provide safe and helpful assistance, they need to understand the human's intentions and anticipate their movements based on the surrounding scene. This is the core challenge of egocentric human trajectory prediction. By analyzing the video stream from a first-person camera, along with other sensor data, the system needs to interpret the scene semantics, understand the human's past motion, and then forecast their likely future path. It's a complex problem that requires understanding the interplay between the environment layout, the human's goals, and the many possible paths they could take. Our work dives into this challenge, aiming to develop a cutting-edge method for egocentric trajectory prediction that leverages rich scene semantics. So, how does our approach work? We've developed a novel pipeline that harnesses the power of wearable cameras and generative models to predict human trajectories. It all starts with the data from body-mounted cameras and sensors, which give us a first-person view of the world. We clean this raw data, label the semantics, and distill it into a compact representation we call the visual memory. This visual memory is like a snapshot that encodes the key information about the environment layout and semantics from the human's perspective over time. Next, we feed this visual memory, along with the human's past trajectory, into the core of our system, a diffusion model-based prediction module. Diffusion models are particularly good at generating complex, multimodal outputs. In our case, the diffusion model uses the past trajectory and encoding of visual memory to infer the likely future paths. And then through repeated sampling, we could obtain a discrete distribution of plausible trajectories that the human could take. This is crucial for capturing the inherent uncertainty and multimodality of human behavior. To make this all work in real time, which is essential for practical applications, we've developed a novel hybrid sampling technique that allows us to efficiently generate large number of trajectory predictions while retaining the sample quality. So in summary, our approach takes in first-person video, distills it into a compact visual memory, and then uses a diffusion model to generate a discrete distribution of possible future trajectories, all in real time. Next, let's take a look at how well it works on real-world data. To rigorously test our approach, we collected a brand new egocentric navigation dataset. This dataset includes 34 collections of first-person video from a variety of indoor and outdoor environments, ranging from cluttered offices to busy city streets. It also includes global 3D trajectories and rich sensor data. We plan to release this dataset to the community to spur further research in this area. Using this dataset, we conducted extensive experiments to evaluate our method. Let's look at some of the results. First, let's see some qualitative examples. Here on the top left is a bird's eye view of the scene. On the bottom right, we see the input visual memory. In both visualization, the trajectories are overlaid. And this scenario is one of the test scenarios that the model has never trained on. As you can see, our model accurately captures the possible paths the human could take, taking into account the obstacles and layout of the scene. Now, let's explore the quantitative results. Egocentric trajectory prediction is an emerging area with limited prior work that directly addresses our specific problem setting. However, we identified two highly relevant state-of-the-art methods from related fields and adapted them as strong baselines for comparison. We evaluated models emphasizing two key metrics, collision avoidance and multimodal prediction quality. As we can see in Table 2, our model significantly outperforms the baselines on both metrics. Although lacking a bit of smoothness, it can be fixed by applying a smoothing filter on the generated samples. In Table 1, we also conducted ablation studies. We removed key components of our model to see how much they contribute. These studies validated the importance of the visual memory, hybrid generation, and multi-head self-attention layers. Overall, our experimental results show that our approach is a significant step forward for egocentric human trajectory prediction, both in terms of prediction quality and practical applicability. An interesting use of future visual prediction is to understand the typical failure mode of the model, which is hallucination. 
In this scenario, an unexpected left turn is predicted. From the model's perspective, it hallucinated a hallway in the unseen part of the visual memory and turned right into it. To recap, in this work, we've presented a novel, compact representation of visual memory critical to navigation tasks, a diffusion-based generative model that predicts the distribution of future trajectory, a hybrid generation technique that speeds up generation by 30 times with minimal loss of quality, and open-sourced a large-scale ego motion dataset of egocentric videos paired with IMU information in outdoor and indoor settings. We believe this work is a significant step forward for the field with wide-ranging applications. If you're interested in learning more, please check out our paper. We'll also be releasing our code and dataset publicly. Thank you for watching.